All right, so before we actually go ahead and jump into the power system for this, we need to take a few minutes and talk about some mistakes that I've made, or not necessarily mistakes, but design changes I need to make based upon how I decided to originally code things like the doors and how they work. So this is the perfect time anyway, because after bringing that model in, I broke a lot of the different associations that I put in by using scripts. But anyway, we had our use manager, and the use manager had a series of public variables for things like the left controller, right controller, doors, and so forth and so on. So let's go ahead and take a look at the use manager. All right, so here we are. So in the use manager, there's really not a whole lot of anything intelligent going on here. We've got our public colliders, the lights and so forth that need to be turned on and off. And in here, we check to see whether or not that object was hit. And if it was, we're good to go. That is one way of doing things, but it's very locked down and constrained. And one way we're gonna do this is uh, by doing a little bit of planning. So we need to start planning a little bit about our inputs and outputs. So inputs for this particular thing. So what we're going to have is we have our um, so we have our intersections, and we're going and that's going to be from the use manager itself, and it's going to be performing these checks whenever we decide to press down the mouse button. So that's on you know a button down type thing, or up, but that's going to fire array into the scene, and it's going to then report what it gets back. So what did I get? So now that we've gotten something back, we need to check it. And what I propose for us to use in this system is we're going to check to see if the object has a, well, first we need to check if, if you know, it's like not equal to null or something, but we need to check to see if uh, we get a component back. And that component is going to be a, maybe something like a usable component, some new class type that we're going to have. Or it might be an interface, if not a class that describes functionality that we're going to be able to use in the future. So we're going to have this usable object. So because this is an interface, we, we have an expectation of functions we can call. So we know that if it's usable, that it's going to have a function that we're going to create called use. So all we're going to do when use manager decides to hit that object is we're going to call that function's use method. Now we could also use messages inside of Unity to instead of directly you know doing like uh, the object dot use we could instead try to send at that object a use message but I think in this example we're just going to stick to uh, creating this interface type if the object has a use is is has a usable component then it will then of course use that and uh, we'll move on from there but that's this is selecting an object we still need to deal with power right so with power What's going to happen is we have, you know, our button or whatever it is. So what are the, what things take power in this game? So we have the lights and there, there's two of these really, right? We have the doors and there are two of them as well. We have just, you know, general power drain from the fan and the lights being on. The fact that you do use some power up in the game regardless. And then we have the, uh, the security cameras itself using them. So this one doesn't matter. This is just some factor that gets put into the actual, what we're gonna have is a power manager and we'll probably just have a, uh, a drain, uh, units of power. But uh, the, the power manager is most likely also gonna be a singleton. And during the start or the awake method, it's kind of up to us. Um, this way we don't have to worry about uh, finding the power manager or putting references in in the inspector and all kinds of other nonsense. It just makes things kind of difficult. So we have all these different objects. And when you use the use feature, when we use that light switch, the light switch is going to need to contact the power manager, the PM, and it's going to need to tell the power manager, hey, I am causing a drain on your power systems. So here, here's the example. Light switch is going to call power manager and say, hey, I'm putting a drain on your system. And then at some point in the future, when we use light switch again, it's internal logic is going to go back to power manager and say, hey, I'm all done. Stop. Uh, draining, take away the power that I was using from the system. So right now this is looking looking like a one-way connection, okay? However, there is the rare, very rare case in the game that uh, you will use up all of your power, in which case the power manager now needs to broadcast to everyone who happened to be using power, I'm dead, uh, power out, stop what you are doing. Now this is a very rare condition, and because it's so rare, we're going to be using the Unity messaging system to actually deal with that. So when you're playing the game, you think you're pressing the light switch and the doors and the cameras quite a lot, but with reference to the actual update phase of the game, you're not doing that very often. 
We could, for instance, have all of the light switches and all the other power objects constantly pulling this guy, but that's expensive. It would be better for us to, because this is such a rare event, give the ability for Power Manager to send out a broadcast message and to inform everyone that I'm done. And anyone who wants to listen to that message, like any of these power objects, well, well when they receive that message, they will then take appropriate actions. They will, they will turn themselves off. And that's how I am going to tackle the Power Manager in the next few videos. So first, we're going to fix the using stuff, and then we're going to tackle power and all these different objects. So hopefully uh, this made a lot of sense. If it doesn't, comment below, and I will do my best to respond with comments on how this whole thing should actually work. All right, thanks everyone. See you later, bye.